guys and girls and welcome back to a new video today this video is a different video this video is transfer deadline day Trammy Rovers have made a full signing so far in this transfer window on deadline day obviously Trammy Rovers have signed some okay players and some players that I haven't really heard of so yeah we're gonna get through them right now. So obviously, I'm just I'm just saying my thoughts on this. Obviously, from what I know from these type of players. So th the first signing today was um, a striker, which Tron Rovers definitely need. We need to prove we need to prove our point that we can get a goal scorer and we can win games because the last few performances have not been great for us. And obviously we've been beaten in the last two games. Obviously getting beat one 0 by Newport and Scunthorpe. And personally, we should have got something out of that game against Scunthorpe. So obviously we signed Nicky Maynard, who used to play for Newport County last season. Obviously he did score the goal against Forest Green Rovers in the in the um, semi-finals to get to Wembley to obviously try and go up but Newport didn't go up so obviously a goal scorer in who is 34 years of age Nicky Maynard he's a good player from when when you need a striker you can call on him but f from my thoughts I think it's a good signing for Trammy Rovers and I, I'm not going to slate him straight away I'm not one of them people that say I'm not slating him because I like him I think he's a good player and I just hope he gets the right attitude and obviously he can score a few goals for us this season and possibly get us where we want to be which is obviously promotion but I'm not going to be saying promotion just yet because it's only early on in the season but I'm really happy with this obviously um, he's scored a few decent goals for other clubs obviously he's been with crew. MK Dons and Wigan and obviously he was at Newport County I, I think he only scored two goals at Newport County last season I think he was only there for a few months so yeah he's 34 years of age but yeah I'm happy with, it, with this move so going on to my second um, transfer that Tommy Rovers did do today obviously this is a loan deal who is called Stefan Walker. I've never heard of this guy, so I'm, we're just going to see him how he does. But he has scored a few goals, obviously, with with other clubs that he's been with. Obviously, Stephen Walker is 20 years of age. He plays for Middlesbrough, who are his championship side, and we've got him alone until the end of the season, which is fantastic. So, um, um. He's been at the likes of Crew. Um, I think he's been at Crew, MK Dons. And that's his. That's the only two clubs he's been at. But he has scored a few decent goals, and he scored nine goals in his England career. With obviously because uh, in the under seventeens, under eighteens, and under nineteens, which he scored nine goals. Obviously, I'd seen one of his goals against. Um, I think it was when he was at Crew, which was a decent goal, and the other one was when he was at MK Dons. So yeah, if he can do that for Tramie Rivers, that would be absolutely fantastic. And obviously, we can believe in him and just see how good of a player he will be. But I'm not going to say anything like he's going to be this, he's going to be that. Because I've never seen him, what he can bring to our club. And hopefully he can adapt to our team. And obviously the way we play. Obviously, I personally think Tramie Rovers should go 4-4-2 this coming Saturday against Hartlepool. And I'd probably play um, Nicky Maynard and... Um, Stephen Walker, I'd probably play them instead of Nevitt and Manny because Manny is not great. He's not the best. But yeah, I'm happy with this move. And obviously from what someone someone I know is obviously saying he's quite decent. So that's a good thing. So it's fantastic. So come on. So on to my third one now. 
the, the third one with Mark Duffy, obviously he's been with us for a few months now. I think he was with us for two months, and he and obviously I think he just wanted to try and get uh, uh, training fit and obviously be perfect and everything. So no, obviously we we've signed him today, which is fantastic. He's a great player. He's had a lot of games for clubs. Obviously, he's had about he's uh, thirty five years of age. He used to play for teams like Fleetwood. Fleetwood, um, I think it was last season. And he's been at Sheffield United for most of his career. Which what a player he was then. He's had about 489 games and scored 60, oh, is it 52 goals. So that's not bad for an attacking midfielder. And obviously he's 35 years of age. So if he can do something right in this club, I'll be really happy with him. And yeah, I'm really happy with Mark Duffy coming into Tommy Rovers. I think his deal will extend until January 22. So, yeah, if he can play well and adapt and hopefully he can have a long season with Tremors, that will be fantastic. So, my last one is a player that played for Tremors last season in Lee O'Connor. Lee O'Connor is a great right back. I thought he was fantastic last season. But not many people would probably agree with me because I obviously have different opinions to what other people have. But he played 35 times for Tramway Rovers last season. I thought he played really well. I thought he was really good on the wings and obviously the counter-attacks. But I think he's going to be coming close with um, Cogley. Obviously, I think Cogley is a great player. And personally, I think... Cogley could be a right winger, I think, but but that this is my opinion. What I'm, I think, I think because he's got pace in Cogley, I think um, um, O'Connor could be our right back. I think O'Connor is on international duty with Republic of Ireland because they're playing Portugal on Wednesday, which would be a great game if he's going to be playing. So yeah, Tramway Rovers. Could have a player in the internationals when he's playing. So that would be fantastic if he will be playing. So we just got to believe and see what happens. Obviously, will Tramway Rovers make another signing? Personally, I can't see it, but you just never know. It is about twenty. Um, it was a, it's about half six in the UK. So. Will things change? I'm not too sure, but I think I'm happy with the four times like we've done today. So, yeah, it's only just a quick update on the Trammy players. So obviously, Trammy Rivers have signed the likes of Callum and Malamun, uh, Joshua Cogley, and um, Manny Disray. I can't even say his second name, um, Elliot Nevitt, um, um, Mary, Tom Davis. And the final personal night, night personal, um, uh, Ross Dohan. I'm sure. I think. I think. I'm personally. I think it's a, a lot of players, but I just think we need to adapt and we need to play like a, a good team. And let's just hope we can get our. Winning back to where we want to be. Obviously, we did win it against Warsaw, and that was our first win of this season. And I'm expecting, I'm expecting uh, Saturday's game to be really tough. So I will be doing my preview on Thursday. So hopefully, you guys enjoyed this little video. Obviously, trying to the signings today. So I'll see you guys in a bit. But if we do sign someone else, I will be coming back. So up the whites. Super well, me. I'll see you guys in a bit. Come on, you boys. I like Duncan's YouTube channel, it's brilliant.